Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has arrived Monday for a one-day visit in Uganda where he is set to meet with leaders of other East African countries. I am setting out for yet another visit to Africa, my fifth in three and a half years, Netanyahu said before taking off from Tel Aviv. Israel is making a big return to Africa and Africa has already returned to Israel. These are important ties politically, economically and in terms of security, he said, adding that he hopes to have good news upon his return. In July 2016, the Prime Minister participated in a ceremony in Uganda to mark the 40th anniversary of the Operation Entebbe, a hostage rescue by Israel commandos at Entebbe Airport in 1976. The operation, which aimed to rescue 106 passengers of an Air France flight that was hijacked by members of the Popular Front for Liberation of Palestine, succeeded in freeing 102 of the hostages. Netanyahu's brother, Jonathan, who led the mission, was killed. During the 2016 visit, Netanyahu met Ugandan President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta, Rwandan President Paul Kagame, South Sudan President, Ethiopian Prime Minister, Zambian President and former Tanzanian Foreign Minister. It has also been reported that in the past, Israel contacted the American administration and other foreign governments in an attempt to encourage them to improve their relations with Sudan and to make overshoes in its favor. In light of severance of ties between Arab African country and Iran, Reports in Israel and abroad in recent years have said that Israel might renew its diplomatic relations with several Muslim countries on the African continent, including Mali, Niger, and Sudan. After he visited Chad in 2019, it was reported that Israel was working to formalize ties with Sudan and Israel officials spoke about it publicly on several occasions, especially after the ouster of the dictator Omar Bashir. Hertz previously reported that Israel had secretly deported Islam seekers from different African countries to Uganda. To this day, Aslam seekers are being deported to Uganda in what Israel has called voluntary departure. Israel has stated that it intends to forcefully deport Aslam seekers to third countries, which were later revealed to be Uganda and Rwanda. Both of these countries are dissuaded by criticism and claim that the plan to deport Aslam seekers to their territories would not be executed. This is the second time Netanyahu is visiting Uganda. The first time was in July 2016 when he held bilateral talks with President Yoweri Museveni on a number of issues including trade, investment and security. During his first visit, he toured Entebbe Airport to mark 40 years since 4th July 1976 raid in Entebbe. During the hostage rescue operation, his brother was killed at Entebbe. The visit comes against a backdrop of media reports that Uganda plans to open up an embassy in Jerusalem. However, the permanent secretary at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Patrick Mugoya, dismissed the reports as false. He said although Uganda and Israel enjoy cordial bilateral relations just like the country does, with other countries around the world, Kampala does not have a mission in Israel or Jerusalem. In 2018, the U.S. officially opened up an embassy in Jerusalem, recognizing it was a capital city of Israel, a move that the U.S. officials said would create greater regional stability. However, critics said that decision to recognize Jerusalem as the Israel capital could make a region already struggling with four ongoing conflicts all the more combustible.